And in business, African countries who bought into the idea of having a free trade agreement are likely to postpone the idea from taking effect from July 1st, 2020, Economist Intelligence Unit has said. According to the London-based Business Intelligence Unit, the 27 countries, including Ghana, look unready for the trading to take place after exhausting their one-year grace period. The unit attributed this lackadaisical attitude of the African continental free trade area sanitary states to the hesitant behavior of their respective governments on the free trade implementation. The EIU was of the view that some larger African countries, such as Nigeria, are still ambivalent about the agreement and therefore hesitant to push and support their smaller, less developed neighbors into preparing for its activation. Other important economies, such as Ethiopia and South Africa, are grippled by domestic crises that are absorbing reforms energies. In furtherance of the EIU's claim, it stated that institutional frameworks responsible for handling the legal issues arising from the implementation of the AFCFTA are weak in many African countries. Meanwhile, Ghana is said to benefit from over £326 million from the UK government for various projects in the country as part of over $6.5 billion package £6.5 billion package announced for African markets on Monday. A total of £26 million will be used to supply solar-powered water filter system in Ghana, amongst other projects. Meanwhile, additional £40 million will be expended on the development of the Kumasi Airport and £120.5 million for the upgrade of Kumasi Teaching Hospital. The announcement was made at the UK Africa Investment Summit in London. The projects will be undertaken by UK companies and other African partners.